Hey, what's up guys, and Merry Christmas, I'm AvalancheFan133, welcome back to my NHL 14 Goalie Be A Pro Mode. Uh, I always forget to look at something. This is game number, uh, 30 on the season, I believe? <laughs> 11 games have passed since my last episode. This game I'll be facing the Vancouver Canucks at home. Finally a home game. Uh, 11 games have passed. I only played two of them. Uh, after my 6-5 loss against Boston. Very ugly of a loss. And I won 5-3 against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Nice bounce back win. Then I got benched for a while. We lost 3-2 against the Canadians. 5-2 against the Blackhawks. 3-1 against the Avalanche. Then we won 2-0 against the Red Wings. Lost 3-1 against the Carolina Hurricanes. Then I finally got a start and we lost 5-0 against the Penguins. Three goals I believe I allowed in the first period. Not a good game. But no uh, offense either, so just bad. Uh, we lost 3-2 against the Rangers. This big trend. It's all losses. 5-4 again to the Penguins. And we won 4-2 against the Capitals. Uh, then we just lost 2-1 against the Hurricanes again. And here we are against the Canucks. Our record's now 10-16-3. and It's not looking good so far for us. I'm struggling and everything. Um, I just took out the uh, boost on the five hole, and I believe, yeah, I added it to rebound control. I thought that could be used a little more, and hopefully uh, that'll help me more. <laughs> Brings my rebound control to 87, and nothing else really changed. I don't think I got an upgrade recently. I'm not sure. <laughs> But uh, career statistics still looking ugly, ugly, ugly. 3.78 goals against average and an 86.4 save percentage. And I'm 3-5. and five. It's, I still got the one shutout. Very happy about that. Looking for more. Uh, look at uh, season expectations really quick to see where I rank in the Calder Trophy Tracker. 22nd. Uh, not great, but it will jump quite a bit if I put together a good game. So if I can just get together some good games, then it'll be great. Anyways, let's get her started. Uh, gonna be rough against the Canucks. They're always good. Hopefully my team will play a little bit better. It's been tough with the Stars so far since they finished last and just are not put together well. They have some decent defense. I would say uh, about average or slightly below average defense and then the offense has got to be one of the worst in the league, if not the worst in the league. Just terrible. Jamie Benz our only threat right now with Lowy Erickson out. And some of the other guys like Riley Smith have scored nicely and Goligoski is tied with the points lead with Ben which is pretty surprising but he's done pretty good and we're just trying to get through this season and hopefully get better for next season and hopefully the AI GM will actually make some moves and make us better I know we're in rebuilding mode pretty much but we need some guys uh, either signed or traded for something done and I don't know I'm in my evaluation period for this team and I don't know if I will be on the Dallas Stars after my contracts up we will see there we go finally at home in Dallas Vancouver's power play is Walker a big save on that one. And whoa, if they get chances. Oh, Gary, this is a huge announcement coming there in. There was just recently a uh, play, the update, a the team uh, roster update. They, they say their biggest penalties. ever and bunch of players and added, but mainly to the uh, that wing side to Daniel City. CHL teams. Oh, he that one. And then uh, I'm going to grab that. 
freezes the puck. And there was a small tuner update. I forgot what it said. I, I have a little Daniel bookmarked Sereen's link. I can even throw that in the description. It, it says what the tuners have changed. For him, the was even uh, I think was one of them was uh, the uh, goaltender sight is slightly improved on uh, screenshots from the rush. Wow, oh, Kessler. I should have moved over a little more. Ryan Kessler gets the opening goal off that deflected shot. Rebound control didn't help me there. Couldn't control it, didn't move over enough, and he gets a pretty easy goal. Just too late on moving to my left. That's not a good start. Gotta tighten it up and focus. Puck sent right through the middle. On the charge, three on two. This Vancouver team, not easy. So far against good teams. Well, at least the Penguins, who are never easy. Uh, I lost five nothing to them. <laughs> Luongo trying to find it. Back to the point area. Here's some body work in. Ooh, that just deflected wide. Another deflection. Blocked more of. Here comes Cassian down the wing. Yeah, I'm actually playing this game in the uh, early morning hours. Uh, I wouldn't say early morning, but that's uh, a lot earlier than I'm used to, and that net's knocked off. Uh, on Monday... And this will probably go out Wednesday, so Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys are having a good one. That puck's gonna stay in possession. Can be my little uh, Christmas present. Go across ice with that. Needs to get rid of this puck. To Burroughs. To Henrik. To Dan. Here comes Vancouver. Oh, expecting the shot the whole time. Got the rebound. Save. Sheesh. Some big rebounds early so far. Been right on top of them, except for the one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I went down way too early, but made the glove save, luckily. 12.31 left. Uh, I've been thinking about considering one of two things that are going to happen here really soon, probably after Christmas. I'm either going to start up a whole new series on NHL 14 or start releasing this twice a week. I'm leaning towards a whole new series just because I want to get something new and fresh out. And uh, I got to consider my options, but the two things I'm really thinking about, I broke a stick there, is one, a be a pro player, and two, just a, like, be a GM, just me running the team, not really playing any games. But I've thought about doing that, just like running the Avalanche. Of course, the Avalanche, my favorite team. Save on that. Moved a little oddly there. Went down early and all sorts of stuff. Ah! Uh, man, deflected right in. Not good positioning for me, but I don't know if that would have made a difference. No real good coverage in front. Where did it go? I thought it went in the five hole. No, it actually went right under the blocker. Vancouver's goal gives him a decent Man. <laughs> Not doing so great so far. Part of it is my fault. A little bit rusty. There's a little scrum going for you along the boards. Good reach on that. But one. yeah, I would love to hear some of your guys' thoughts in the comments about Oh Jamie Ben almost burying that. About what you would like me to do. Because this is all for you guys anyways. Oh that went over. Thought it was gonna hit me in the mask for a second. He picks up the loose puck. Daniel Sedin sends it in behind to his brother. Nobody covering him. He had all that room. 
Instead, just gets pushed Check. to the point and turns it over. That puck right up through center ice. Brings that into the zone. Daniel Sedin. Down to the last five minutes here in the first. Two two the other way. Not a great first, but I could still have zone. a good game. <laughs> My movement is not good. I'm not reading the puck extremely well right now. It's Fiddler. That shot hits him and is blocked, blocked, even though blocked. I don't think he ever saw it coming. To Corvo, to MacArthur. Connects on that one up the middle. Ryan Kessler scored the first goal. Ah, oh, scores the third goal, too. Man, I am not getting any gut coverage. Ugh. And it doesn't help that I'm not playing extremely well. Hey, not exactly a classic goal, but when you're down there in that slot area, didn't know what he was going to do. I know, Gary, I think this goaltender will be practicing saves low to the stick side. And he just beats my goalie. Vancouver's Not terrible positioning, time but out here in the period, they pretty well uh, got this three to nothing. This is how the, I mean, my last easy. game started against uh, Pittsburgh. Flip on that one to move not so great. No the puck here. I'm just kind of, I'm hoping this season gets done because it's been a rough one so far, and I'm really hoping my team can be better next season. Fighting for it. The problem with these kind of games is suddenly my team controls everything, and the other team won't get many chances or get. Not many chances, but usually they end up capitalizing on their only chances. That was close there. To Emerton. Pass just through. We'll have a stoppage here for offside. But it's just rough because I don't get many shots, and when I do, they come down and get a golden opportunity and put it in. Tied him up in the faceoff, left the puck for his winger. And that's going to end the first. Rough first, End of the first period, three goals score, allowed. I mean, thinking it just being the first, it's Three terrible. But one. Watching these players go if I can shut them the down the rest, three level. goals yeah, allowed in a game really isn't really terrible. Really hard. I mean, you can't ask for more than what three goals seen. in a period is, but three goals in a whole game, it's not too bad. Here we go, right, start of the second. second. Hopefully it will be much better. Zone. There's a scrum along the wall. I mean, I'd be happy just getting out of here with no goals allowed, even if I didn't get many shots against. And with that whistle, an offside face That's off offside. Definitely a tough season for the Dallas Stars. That's another face off. That's been the story of the night, and maybe will be the story of this game. You might even get another uh, first uh, first round, first two on the overall two on the pick. Rush. That misses everybody, and Ben gets it two on one. Ben gets robbed by Luongo. Also, be happy if my team can score. To Kessler, to Casio, to MacArthur. I gotta just start playing better. Oh, that gets poked away. I know I can do better. Sometimes I just try to be too perfect. That's gonna be icing. And uh, that just Ben's makes me not really play at my full potential. And still the save was made. That's a great play in that room. Other times I'm too risky. That's kind of rare. Rare yes. nowadays. Now I just try to be too perfect. Digging for the puck. Needs to get rid of it. Pokes that away. Sanginetti slapper zone. from the point gets slowed up and deflected wide. Jamie Ben across to Sanginetti again. That gets Easily saved by Luongo. So these, ooh, big hit by Ben to turn it over. Fiddler in front shoots it wide. These teams like this, the better teams, it's going to be rough facing them this season so far. So far, I have uh, 10 games played, and uh, Kari Lettinen has... 20, so I'm playing a third of the games. 
which I'm okay with. It seems pretty good for the backup. I mean, I definitely shouldn't be playing most of the games, especially with how I'm playing. One way to try and turn it around. That's another check. Like this, get physical. That one's gonna be dumped in. Nice so far, my team play playing pretty well. With a poke check. And I'm happy with that. that one on the take Not giving the up any opportunities. Two on one. Oh, Burrows oh, just yeah. missed. That's me diving. He had it. Smith shot on Luongo has been sharp early. Well, it's not really early. It's halfway through the game already. That pass completed from that wing center ice to Daniel. Daniel Sedin getting pinned in the corner. Trying to get it back. He does. Ooh, snatched it with the glove, and I'll hang on. That might be the first shot against me this period. Just past that Which would be pretty uh, amazing. It's deflected but blocked. And those two come together along the boards. Nice Kessler great looking pass. for the oh, got across to get that one. He was looking for his hat trick, but he was more of setting up his teammate there. But I robbed him there to keep it at three nothing. Gotta watch out for those. Ooh, I thought that was going across again. And misses again. Sanganetti will skate it out. And into the Vancouver zone. Shoot it on. Luongo will make the save and pass it out to Edler. Now Edler will go all the way down. Slap it and break his stick. Yeah, no kidding, boy. That's a crying shame. Try to find that puck, get it free. Knocks Pinned the in the away. corner. Lots the of fighting for it. Whistle. And penalty against us. Dallas is on the other end of this call. Two minutes for hooking. Two minute hooking call. The and we'll face the ninth ranked power play in the league. Oh, what a save. Okay, didn't know where that was. Right in between the pads. And my goalie will freeze it. We'll do the face off again. Come on, guys, win this. Got the puck in the Lose end. it Draw. again. Deflected on. Made the stick save. Out. Starting to feel a little more confident. They'll do a lot Back if we can kill this power play. To 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 Daniel Sedin. Sedin. Daniel. Nice quick snap. Oh, that, that goes wide. The net. What a chance lost. Puck under control at the point. Oh. He scores. I hate those kind of shots, and I don't know. I think I my goalie should have had that. I was in bad position. I completely get that. I did not get over to my right enough, but all my goalie has to do is kick out that right pad a little bit, and it's a good save. I don't care how bad my goalie is. I think he should have had it. And uh, that's just a bad goal. Doing so well, too. That just kills everything. Phew. So, this is uh, already... <laughs> Already pretty much over. <laughs> Completely kills this game. Ben driving the net gets shoved over. I don't even know what I could talk about. I mean, I've talked about my hopes of next year being better. And this year being so bad. It's not too late to kind of have some good games. And I'm sure I'll have a few good ones and then... Piled on with some really bad ones, as usual. And that's their fifth goal. No coverage at all. Just no words for this game. Comes Burrows. Mm. Robbed him with the glove. 
face off coming with that think my defense is just given up right now that's a goaltender's nightmare especially Boy, after that fourth goal hit on this one isn't he this again I will talk about it every time a bad game comes up like this they need the I don't even know what the proper word is I need to be able to be taken out by the coach swapped goalies after that third goal probably because I could be in here for 20 goals for infinite number of goals and it I would still be in keep putting goals in that needs to be a thing come on EA Sports I'm really hopeful for next game too because it's gonna be on the uh, new systems the Xbox one and uh, PS4 and maybe they'll improve the AI finally I, I'm always hopeful for that that's the most wanted thing I want because I don't play online a lot of it's because I played online on last year's game and could not play because it was there's a delay unless you're host and I can't play with that it's just unless you just get used to it after a while I mean it's just terrible it feels like there we go again pouring it on with that goal Six scored nothing. at the start of the third period, the offense which we saw working so well early in the game continued. Yeah, and ah. if there was any chance or at least any thought the other team had of getting back into the game, wow. forget about it. Vancouver completely killing my Christmas. Thank you, Vancouver. It's blocked. Then again, it isn't much Vancouver. It's more of my own team just killing it for me. I mean, you would take the goals if they were given to you. Who wouldn't? I just feel like, man, I feel like I haven't played in months. Almost. Man. Will we get any more? What is there more? I mean, I'm sure I've lost all my viewers by now. What more can happen in this game to make it any interesting? My team could score, but it would be six to one. I can make saves, but that would just avoid any more terrible. I mean, there's booing in the arena. I'm surprised there is booing. Who's still left? Other than the five Vancouver fans that have come to Dallas to watch the game. Oi. Maybe this video will get corrupted and I'll have to uh, play another game. No. I hope not. 12-14 left in this 6 nothing destruction of me and my team. Has that puck under control, brings that into the offensive end. Needs to hurry. But he let's talk about, I don't know. It's kind of nice and refreshing. I don't have to worry about the game. I'm completely relaxed. I mean, if they get another goal, they get another goal. But they're not really putting much pressure on. I don't know how I'm going to edit this because there's a few things I'm talking about that I want in the edited version. Just whistled by the post just so everybody hears. Gains control. That's ah, deflected wide. To Burrows. Oh, that's blocked. Actually getting a little bit of defense now. Anyways, so if I do a, be a pro player, the reason why I don't play them is because I feel it's too easy to get scoring and it's a little, I don't know, unbalanced almost. That's the seventh goal on the blocked shot going right to somebody else, I guess Daniel Sedin. Uh, it seems like when I've played them in the past, I'm the only source of offense. Even when I'm simulating a next shift, no other goals happen. And there's eight. Wow. What a 
job they have done uh, here I went out to hopefully cut Montreal down the angle felt like I was in good position for that one man maybe I should just retire now <laughs> sheesh I need like my memories erased after this one Kessler's wrister so it's right been terrible. Stick, just 75% on the faceoff wins for Vancouver. Net, this is on pro also. Pro with... Oh, that was almost nine. <laughs> pro with no CPU difficulty bumped up. Or AI difficulty. Whatever the option is in the gameplay settings. And this is how it's turning out. Offensive chance. Oh, that so was almost a rebound again from nine. He won't get that one oh, grab that the and then pass it out because I had nothing to really to lose. So I'm not totally certain on setting up another be a pro as a player. I kind of want to, but and that draw guy got it in their own end. It well feels worth. like. It really feels like I'm the only source of offense on my team. And I feel like it's too easy to score, too. Sanganetti with a good defensive play. Probably the first good defensive play of the game. And then there's the option of me doing a be a GM, just running... Like the Avalanche, for example. I enjoy uh, running teams. I have not done it very much since... Oh, that actually... Ooh, big hit, and that will be a penalty. That I was out of position for, and yet I did get a piece of and it got deflected wide. But the... Be a GM... I don't know, I, great I, I it could, could be fun, but also a little boring just end, running rush. a team. Able to pick that puck up, uh, and able to control it. Big Oof. Kessler, I think he's still looking for his hat trick. Shot. I'm not getting it with that he shot. That nice, easy save using the glove that time. Wow, that was the best pass I've ever done as a goalie because the passing's so bad. There's a wrist shot. Bounces away. We'll almost have this whole power play for, for the rest change. of the game. It. They'll make it right here. Another power play opportunity. Threaten here. Luongo yeah. with the got it, got it. shutout currently. Bad save. Now I forgot what I was talking about with the B A G M. Got the puck right in front. That one went wide. That missed. I think yeah, either one, or I may even eventually do both. I don't know. I don't know what else I can do, also. If anybody has any ideas with that, too. I want to do another series in NHL 14. Just don't know what. If anything, uh... That would make me play control the full, whole team. That I'm gonna definitely need uh, some practice. I bet you I'd be terrible right now. Not I have not played. Not played as the full team in quite a while. <laughs> and there goes that game in the books. It's not my worst game ever. I believe in NHL 13, I allowed 10 goals against Columbus one game. Yeah, let's not look at the nice highlights. I'm Gary Thorne, Did I get those nice we'll grades? That's time. definitely messed up. I should not... Uh, position? Questionable. Team play? I don't even know what that counts as. Stats? A C plus? Seriously? Allowing... S Wait. <laughs> I almost said allowing six goals. I wish allowing eight goals on 29 shots, I get a C plus? That's not right. I should have definitely... An F. All the way. I mean, maybe it's thinking uh, 
maybe it's saying, oh, the defense was terrible and you did actually pretty good. Then that, I guess, maybe. 3-2-3. Three, three. Hmm. So, yeah, Merry Christmas with this. Oy. I don't even want to look at my stats after this game. Thank you, Vancouver, for ruining Christmas for everybody. Is it going to take, like, three years again? Nope. Oh, I actually got some experience for that. 4.31. Ow. <laughs> Just ow. After that game, I think that sends my uh, season down into the toilet. Just uh, completely. I will have to face San Jose next. And they're not going to be easy again. Uh, should we... Yeah... Well, not gonna read that. I also, a lot of these uh, interviews, the live the life mode, yeah, I definitely can see is not well put together. It's just something that they threw together almost like at the last minute, just to say they changed something in the game. They're the same questions that do different things. And you just basically got to think, well, like, if the, it's a question that would have real-life implications, there's nothing that you can have done. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm not so good at that. Uh, as long as we can keep out of the penalty box. Um, let's say why. I think that'll do good. I mean, that's gonna. It's always. It's just thinking what's gonna change what. And then there's, there's like one answer that you know, oh, that'll just send down my ratings. So I'm not gonna choose that. And there's no reward for choosing that. Or not reward, but. There's nothing good out of choosing that. You just. It's like saying, do you want this to be improved, or do you want this to be improved, or do you want to take down your ratings? That's basically what the questions are every time. <laughs> so it's not really that good. <laughs> Here's my uh, player growth. Nothing changed there. Let's see where my rating is in the um, caller. I would say 32. 26. Huh, didn't go up that much. Yep. Ay. Tempted not to throw this on YouTube, but, you know, I'm not going to do that. And I'll just have another episode next Wednesday, probably. Unless I decide that I'll start doing this twice a week. And throw one on the weekend. But... It's more likely of a chance of me doing something new. Just to kind of get away from this and get a refresher. I don't know. <laughs> something different that I think would help me a lot. Also, I would love to play a different... I'm, I'm, I love sports. I would love to play a different sports game. More of, I'm not a huge fan of football, that's okay. Uh, I would love a baseball game. But as everybody knows who's on Xbox 360, there's not really any great baseball games. I do not like MLB, 2K, whatever. I don't think 2K does a good job of sports games. They do great in graphics. They The games look beautiful, but they don't know how to make it fun gameplay. Anyways, I shouldn't be talking about that too much. That pretty much does it here. I hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas and happy one and having fun with family, friends, whatever you do. And next episode will probably be next Wednesday. Look out for anything new. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Uh, it might take a little bit for me to get set up on something new and I'll have to think about what I want to do. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. That helps me a bunch. And I'm AvalancheFan133, and I'll talk to you guys later.